All right, we're going to start um, section 4.4. It's about permutations and combinations. So we have done these before. You've done them um, in previous math classes. So just a review of some of these key terms. Uh, the first one is factorial, uh, which is the exclamation point. So you're probably more familiar with, num with numbers. If we do 5 factorial, that means to take 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Uh, you multiply all of those together, um, you should get 120. Okay, so if you're taking n factorial, that means you start with n, whatever that is, and then you multiply that by the number before it, which is n minus 1, and then multiply that times the number before that, which is n minus 2, and you just keep doing this all the way until 1. Okay, so that is n factorial. Uh, we'll come back and use those, use that in a lot of our different formulas today. A combination is when we are choosing a certain number of objects and order doesn't matter. Order does not matter. So, for example, um, if you have five different movies um, and you're going to watch two of them tonight, um, the order that you watch those two movies doesn't really matter. Okay? So it's just how many different ways can you choose those, those two different movies. So there's two different ways to write this. One is this parenthesis n over r. So in our movie example, we would do we have five movies, and we're going to choose two of them to watch. The other way that we write it, maybe it's a little more common, is we have five movies that we want to choose from, um, and we're going to pick two of them. The n is the number of things we have to choose from. The r is how many spots we're actually going to fill. The formula for this is n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So in our movie example, it would be 5 factorial over 2 factorial, and then we subtract those two numbers, 3 factorial. Okay, so we just did 5 factorial, that's 120. 2 factorial is just 2, 3 factorial is 6, so 120 divided by 12 is 10. There are 10 different ways um, to pick those two movies for tonight. Um, I will show you a little bit later how to do this on your calculator, because your calculator does it. A permutation is when we are selecting a certain number of objects and order does matter. So the way you can think about this is, uh, I like to think about like a race. If we have um, 20 people running in a race, but only first, second, and third place get awards, how many different ways can you give those awards? Um, and order matters, because it matters to me if I get first place versus third place. So if you think permutation and place, order matters. So let's say, let's have a smaller race. Let's say we have five runners in this race and the three of them get, the top three get awards. So the way we would write that is we have five runners, it's a permutation of three, because that's how many places there are. The formula for that is n factorial over n minus r factorial. So in this particular case, it would be 120 divided by 2, so there are 60 different ways that we could um, give out those awards for first, second, and third place. The last one is maybe a new one that you haven't um, seen before. It's called special permutations. So if this is if we have a group of things and some of them are identical, they have indistinguishable terms in them, in that case the formula is n factorial and then the k's are the number of indistinguishable terms. So we're going to do an example of that um, at the very end of the notes. But just so you know, it's a little bit different. It's similar to the permutation where order matters, but it's you, if you have identical objects in your group. So first, we want to be able to calculate with factorials. So 4 factorial, of course, means to do 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 0 factorial is 1. Okay, that's one you just need to learn. By definition, it's zero factorial. I know it doesn't make total sense, but it does work. So when you do this math, you get 24. Okay, 95 factorial over 93 factorial. Um, I don't know if your calculator will do this. Those are really big numbers. 95 factorial means 95 times 94 times 93 times 92, and we're going to keep going. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to write them all out. That would be obnoxious divided by 93 factorial. So 93 times 92 times 91, and write them all out. Now, 
something interesting happens here. Since these are all multiplication, those are going to cancel. These are going to cancel. Everything past this is going to cancel. So we really only need to do 95 times 94. I don't know what that is. Get the calculator out. Uh, 8930. Okay. Um, on the next one, we have 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 factorial, it looks like. Um, now, we could actually do all this math out. Let me show you something else interesting with this. 6 factorial is going to be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 2 times 1. And we have 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. And then this part, that's 4 factorial, so 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And again, we have some stuff canceling. The 4s, the 3s, the 2s, the 1s. That one we don't really need, so we end up with 30 divided by 2, which is 15. Okay. Now, your calculator will do factorials. I'll show you that in a second. But um, sometimes if you get really big numbers, like 95 factorial, it might overflow your calculator. So it's nice to know how these canceling rules work. All right, the last one, n factorial over n minus 2 factorial. So n factorial, obviously we can't put that in the calculator. That means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, n minus 3, and it keeps going however long it needs to go. n minus 2 factorial means we're taking n minus 2, and then the next one, which is n minus 3, and so on and so forth. And then all these are going to cancel. The n minus 2, the n minus 3, everything on down. Our only thing that doesn't cancel is here on top, the n and the n minus 1. Okay. So if you want to know where the factorial button is in your calculator, um, on the TI, this is not a real calculator, it's just a picture of it. Um, it is in the probability right here, the probability key. Oh, you can't see that at all. Um, right there. So if you click on that probability key, which I can't do right now, um, you'll see a factorial button, a permutation, and a combination button. If you have a graphing calculator, um, you have the same options. It is in the math menu. This one I actually can do, maybe. Well, anyway, it's in the math menu. Um, and if you go over to, um, on the top right, it'll say probability, you'll get a probability menu. Um, you'll be able to find it there as well. This is not paying attention to me at the moment, but math menu, and then go over to probability, you have it. Um, in the next video, we will talk about when to use permutations and when to use combinations.